ride Sunday morning It's 11.44 Guess where I'm going Yep I'm going to the gym Yep I usually don't train on weekends But since I've trained like a pussy Since the, in the surgery I'm still training like Yeah you would not believe 10-15 pounds dumbbells and stuff So uh, since I'm only training like that I'm just going in as much as I can <clears throat> what's up guys who's out here who's out there on a Sunday what you guys doing it is 95 at 11 45 a.m. right here in Phoenix Arizona do I sound like a radio host checking on you guys checking what's up a lot of rumors going around I heard What's going on with you people? Let me see. That's a bunch of comments. Looking like, looking like a jack. <laughs> yeah, I'm put on since since I got back from Germany, August 18th. I got back, and since then I put on a good 22 pounds. But that's not new muscle. It's just something that I've lost since the surgery and not training for, I don't know, three months. So, but I put on a good 22 pounds again. So I'm back to my normal weight, but well, normal weight for a 52 year old man. Let's put it this way. I'm no way jacked or swole like I used to be or some of these guys right now, but I feel good. I can scratch the back of my neck. I can wipe my ass without tearing my biceps. <laughs> And you all, you all better not laugh about this, too. Shit, yes, I wiped my ass. I wiped it for three months with my left, and now I don't, I'm not scared again. I'm not scared enough, so I'm back with my right arm. Doing it real slow, though. Like, I'm, you know, I stretch before I wipe. That's what the PT told me. Yes, you better stretch. Anybody else going to the gym on a Sunday? If yes, what are you training? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm probably going to do a little bit of chest, a little bit of shoulder, a little bit of buys and tries. Just a little bit of everything. Should do some calves, but fuck my calves. I don't care about my calves no more. I don't know why this, all these comments get stuck all the time. What do you say? What up, Rock Cash? What's up, India? How's the training going? Jose's training. Jose's it's going good. He's six weeks out from his first show. We started late for him, so we just literally decided like eight, eight weeks out for him to go into the contest. So let's see if we can make it. This is to all competitors or people that plan on competing at the Dennis James Classic in Frankfurt, October 27th. I wish you guys a fucking great last final five weeks of your prep. I want you guys to kill it. I'm looking forward to giving out the pro cards. I will hand out the pro cards myself. And of course, to all pro athletes competing in the pro event. Wish you guys all the best. And I'm looking forward to crowning the winners and of course uh, uh, the Olympia 2019 Olympia qualification again a big thanks to the sponsors for the Dennis James Classic Germany I can't mention you guys enough all stars thank you guys Olymp thank you really only approved we got of course DJ Nutrition we got Eisenbeiser the Protein Salami we have Steelhouse Gym. Thank you guys. And of course, Pro Tan. We can't do no show without Pro Tan. So I appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much. Let me see what we got here. Somebody says, I will go pro. I hope you will go pro. I really hope so. 
thanks to all the people supporting the show, we are all, at this point, over a thousand tickets. We have two thousand seats, so it would be awesome if we sell this this, this venue out and we'll show everybody in Europe how you put a show together, especially a show where the uh, spectators have a ball, kind of like a party almost. And we want to make this every year. This is not going anywhere. I promise you guys, we will have this show every single year. And we expand it. We expand it to regional shows. We're going to expand to Switzerland and Austria. Why? Because I think it's necessary. There's something, you know, something great about the sport of bodybuilding is going to happen because there's been so much bullshit going on the last couple of years in those countries. So many athletes are not happy. We'll try to change that. And that's that's just what I'm about to do. So love it or hate it, it's going to happen regardless. Okay? And you ain't going to stop me. I can't read the comments right now. I'm focusing on the road, which I should do at this time. Should we get somebody live on here? Let's see. All right, I'm gonna choose somebody to come talk to me. Turn this down. All right, I'm gonna just wait until that red light. I'm right back with you. Oh, by the way, congr congrats to Hadi Chelpon for winning the Asian Grand Prix. Just hope this time we have one year to get this ticket. Go to Las Vegas, my brother. All right, now, shit, I can't barely see. Now I don't see nothing. Feel heat to what? What? Feel heat is better than you. Of course, he's Mr. Olympia. Of course, he's better than me, you dummy. You just, you just won five dollars for coming up with something that nobody knew. What is this here? I can't barely read. Have you ever been to Kuwait's Oxygen Gym? Uh, I think I've been there. I remember. Okay, here. Let's see who can we? Let's invite somebody. Just for the hell of it. Let's see who. Whoever it is, you better speak English. Let's just go with this guy, Danny. All right, come on, Danny. Talk to me. Let's see. We're waiting for him. Oh, man. There he is. There oh, he man. is. Hello Talk from, you me. know, me. I speak, I speak from Germany right now, but I'm, I'm living in Manchester. You are, there. you are where? In Manchester. I'm living in Manchester. I'm half Persian, half British, but I'm in Germany oh, okay. right now. Yeah, and it's Did a big honor to talk to you right now. And thank you to actually, well, you, bro. I see. I chose the right one. So did you say German too? Did I hear German? Oh, yeah. I love that. I've just become here since a couple of days ago. That's interesting and an oh. amazing city. Oh, so you so you originally from Iran? Yes, I'm originally from Iran, but I'm living in Manchester oh. City in the UK. Well, I, I've, I've been, you're... yeah, I've, and I've been in Frankfurt right now, so I know you have originally from Germany as well. Yes, yes. First of all, let me say this: you already have that British accent, so you've been there quite some time, I guess. Oh uh, well, so, I grew up in I but, grew up in the but, UK. But, <laughs> Oh, okay. That that well, that explains it. But listen, yeah. since you're in Frankfurt right now, if you have nothing better to do, October 27th, I'll have the Dennis James Classic in Frankfurt. It's literally five minutes from the airport. Come, I know. come, come support the show. Come support the show. I know, uh, I know, bro. I know, bro. And you know, big thank you, thank you very much to accept me and you know coming up to talk to you right now. It's a big, big honor no to me problem. right now. And thank you very much, man. It's, you are a big it's, man. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. Absolutely. And thank you so Absolutely. much for saying the coupon today. Thanks a lot to say right now how Absolutely. the coupon 
Yeah, I've been champion in the Asia practice. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. you know, for some Iranian citizenship, it's a problem to get the visa to come to the U.S., especially for the, you know, the problems with the government right now. I hope, I really hope that now we have 12 months to make it happen for Hadi Chopin to enter the United States. I really exactly. hope it's going to be possible because I think that he needs to be on this stage next year for a vacant Definitely. 12 title. And I think, I think if he will get a visa, I think he will be the absolute front runner. He would be the man to beat. And I think that would make the show even better. So I'm looking forward to hopefully, hopefully, because I don't think he's a dangerous person. I don't understand why they give him such a hard time. You know, I mean? you know uh, there are lots of Iranian who can be shrine in the you know in, in the on the stage yeah. like yeah. we've got many champions in different countries and different nationalities anyway but the problem right. for getting visa that's not fair but you know what the same problem is for us i tried to go to iran so many times i tried with people and they told me it's not possible at this moment and they tell me it's too dangerous for me because all i want to do is i just want to get a chance to go to Bido's grave and pay my respect right there yeah. but unfor unfortunately i've been warned from many people not to go to iran that it, it will be too dangerous right so I yeah, don't know. I agree with you there, but anyway i hope everything gonna be okay when one day the all people in the world can travel easily to the different countries bro well i hope so too but you know how it is you know this is the problem with the politicians yeah, i don't agree yeah. with them the I, I really don't agree with them yeah, yeah, you know, but hey, there's nothing much you can do. We can just sit here and talk about them, but I'm not happy with the way it works. But you know what? Who am I? You know, I'm just Dennis James. Yeah. I can't I can't give out no visas because if it was up to me, Hadi Chopin would have been on the Olympia stage last week. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You know. So, but I'm but glad I mean, he made it to Korea, and I'm glad he won. He basically showed the world. Now, this is the third year that he qualified for the Olympia. Yeah. So, now give this guy a visa already. Oh you know my what I'm God. saying? I hope there's so. Nobody more, there's nobody more qualified. This is the most qualified person since Beto Abbasbor. Give this guy a visa. Shit. Give him a fucking passport. I don't care. You know what <laughs> I mean? Let this let this I'm guy compete. Running. Yeah. But anyway, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome, brother. That. And we need you. All we right. need the big champion. We need we need you to talk thank to you. about that, you know, and I'm proud of you, bro. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I wish you a great rest of your Sunday, man. Enjoy. And we'll thank keep in touch, all right, brother? Cheers, Paul. Thank you very much. Cheers. Take care. Take care, my man. Thank you.